Hey there everyone, this is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus drydocks.com. I want to share with you uh, kind of a cool cylinder. This is a refurbishment project, um, but it's a unique design and I want to show it to you. So, um, what we've got in front of us here is a scratch-built, watertight cylinder that was originally uh, designed and implemented by a very talented RC submarine builder by the name of Dwayne Hill up in Canada. Um, this was originally installed in a Type 9 submarine that uh, I sold many, many moons ago uh, to a customer up in Iowa. Uh, that video I will link to in the description if you wanted to see it go. At the time, it wasn't submerging because uh, my air hose got disconnected and that's a long story. But uh, rest assured, it is a fully functional submarine. You can check out the video in the description. But I want to show you this cylinder. So if we come in a little bit closer here... Um, I'm going to start with, uh, with this in. So we've got some kind of homebrew magnetic connectors here. This is something that I added. This is a test tube. It basically just goes straight in to the dry compartment of the cylinder. You take the cap out, submerge the cylinder, blow into it, and you look for bubbles. Now this one we just tested. I don't know if you can see there's water droplets all over it. Uh, in the test tank, we located a small leak in the forward bellow seals. We replaced that. Um, but that is why you have these tubes. You get to check for leaks before you put the boat in the water. So once that's all done, cap it up and you're good to go. Inside here, we've got an automatic uh, pitch controller, a six channel low frequency radio. And then there's a 12 volt air pump in here. And basically the way the ballast system works, this uh, linear servo here draws this back, opens up the vent valve, all the air escapes, uh, and then to surface again, this is connected up into the snorkel of the uh, model and the air pump draws air in, blows it into the tank. Something else this model has is a, um, a gas backup as well. So uh, if you need to purge the tank quickly or if you're completely submerged, you can actually move to the furthest position uh, of that servo and it will blow gas into the tank. And I think it's actually got some in it. You can hear that there. And then uh, again, this is vent. You can see that little vent valve opening up there. So that's the functionality of that. Uh, and just to show you the rest of it here, if we go to the front of the boat, we've got our forward dive planes. And uh, I reworked this. It used to be that the servo was mounted to the internal bulkhead. So it was very, very difficult to remove this. Uh, I integrated it into that forward bulkhead, so it's all one piece now. I did have to adjust the throw, so hey, note for the new owner, Maury, uh, you're going to want to set this reverse throw to about 50% in your radio so that it doesn't push and pop the end cap off. But it was leaking here, um, and I replaced the servo because uh, it was probably because of this leak, and it uh, flooded and killed the servo, but now it's fully functional, ready to go. Um, rest of the functionality, we've got our rudder, nice and smooth. We uh, lubricated this. It was bent uh, shaft and it was binding, so that was a problem. We've got our uh, override for our stern planes, and that's on an automatic pitch controller. You can see the automatic pitch controller working there. And we've got our uh, throttle. Nice and smooth. Works really, really good. Uh, and that's it. That's the, the basic core functionality of this uh, cylinder. Again, the really cool thing about this, this design and implementation was 100% scratch built. Not a lot of people have successfully integrated that, but Dwayne uh, certainly has the time and talent to make that happen. He has a massive fleet of boats and they're all running a very similar setup. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, just kind of a unique watertight cylinder and uh, an overview about everything that we did. Um, just to let you know, when we got this, the motor bulkhead uh, was smashed out. The uh, servo linkage here was uh, binding, and um, we had to replace the, uh, the forward servo and the forward seals, and obviously do all of the testing. So um, got her back up and running. She'll be ready to uh, head back to the pond. Again, my name's Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus Drydocks.com. We will catch you next time.